1969 Z28 Tribute Camaro. Daytona yellow black stripes. 20 inch wheels in the back, 18 inch wheels in the front. Wheels and tires are actually brand new. They have less than a thousand miles on them. Uh, go around the car and point out a few flaws that it has. Uh, it runs good. I just put a new clutch in it. Uh, uh, new throttle bearing. Put a stereo in it. It has an iPod hookup to it. it looks original. Uh, top is in really nice shape. Uh, the car has about 6,000 miles on it, I believe, since it's been restored. Uh, when I bought it, they said I had 4,000 miles on it since restored. I probably put 2,000 miles on it. Uh, the leaf springs. I believe they used a new one on this side and an old one on this side. Uh, this side of the car actually sets about an inch and a half higher than this side. But if you look at the leaf screws, you can tell that this one looks older and looks like they painted over some stuff. Uh, this one looks like it's perfect almost. <laughs> Uh, the exhaust, for some reason it keeps coming unwelded, so I just have it like hanging, but it just needs a good weld put on it. Uh, the rest of the undercar looks really solid. Uh, new quarters, fenders, tail pan, trunk pan. Uh, looks like I put a new gas tank in it. All this looks new. Side of the car, uh, this, put this fender on in the front nose. Or I had it painted and uh, it doesn't quite line up perfectly and it kind of sticks out down here. There's a little dimple right there. Uh, let me stand back. The hood, they said after they painted it and they put it on, they didn't realize it, but it's off a little bit. You can see it's kind of sinks down right here. It's actually touch up paint right there. Uh, this side was actually bent down at one point in time. They had to bend it back out and straighten it, but it sticks up a little bit right there. It's hard to see. To me, it didn't matter. I just drive it around. I'm not showing it. Uh, Headlight buckets. I found one. The other one was crushed. When it was hit, I never replaced it. But I do have the one headlight bucket. Uh, where the uh, leaf spring is raised a little bit higher on the passenger rear, it brings this front end down a little bit too far. And it actually rubs just the hair when you go around the curb at the right angle. Uh, but. And it pulls this out a little bit. These are about 20 or 30 bucks. I can't remember how much it was. If you replace the leaf springs, you can easily fix that part right there. Uh, looks like they put touch-up paint right there on that. Door shut real good. Squeaky. It's smooth. Uh, windows don't line up. Uh, the end of the car. It's fairly clean. I've never cleaned under here. Uh, you can see the dirt right through there, but never cleaned. Uh, I believe this is coated with something. I'm not sure what it is. The frame is coated. Uh, paint's chipped a little bit right there. 
pretty solid. I think this is why the fender sticks out a little bit. It needs to be pushed down and over and tightened back up. Uh, nothing really going on down here. No rust, no anything. That uh, looks good. Let's look into the front end. All right. No rust, just a couple little surface rust spots. Like right there, it's tiny, tiny, tiny surface rust. Looks overall good. It's dirty, being driven around. Pop the hood. Never really cleaned under here since I've had the car. Might have cleaned a little, like wipes the air cleaner off or something. But that's about it. As you can tell. Uh, valve cover gasket leak a little bit. I've taken them off a couple times to adjust the valves. Looks good under here. Emergency brake doesn't work. Hear the uh, exhaust rattle a little bit where it's loose. Has a nice cam in it. Sounds really good.
come loose a little bit. Oh, the headliner's saggy. They didn't do these parts very well. Uh, that's easily fixed. Back seat has a little place right there. I think these are the original back seats. The front seats look new, but the back seat looks like it's from that, like that. It looks just used and old. Scratch right there. Stereo. It's radio and straight to your iPod. Four speed Munzee M22 transmission from 1969. Uh, you can kind of see where this needs to be redone. I didn't do a very good job on those. These are cracked a little bit up here on both sides. That's loose. Uh, this right here, this trim look here, it needs to be glued back down. This trim right here came loose too. And it looks like they cut it a little bit crooked when they put that in there. This little gap. Uh, that's about it. Oh, also this right here is loose. It's not a big deal. Seems to be bolted down or whatever, however it gets held down, I don't know. Uh, there's no horn that just sits there and rattles when you drive. Kind of annoying. Uh, the heater, AC don't work. No, there's, these don't even move. They don't move. Uh, there's no console. Of course, that means there's no gas gauge. Uh, got a temperature gauge, uh, volts gauge, and oil pressure gauge. We got RPM gauge, and the speedometer does not work. And I think that's about it.